VISIL offers teachers a variety of ways to view and filter student data. The first way is with our class report. To view this data, under Classroom in the main menu, select Class Report from the toolbar. Here you can see overview data on the number of lessons each student has completed, the percentage correct, and total time spent on those lessons. By default, you'll see data for the last week. However, you can filter the date range by whatever dates you'd like. You can also filter the data by a specific subject using the subject dropdown. Click Submit after any changes to the filters to update the data displayed. This data can be exported as a CSV or PDF. To view more detailed data on a specific student, use the My Students dropdown and select the student whose data you'd like to view. This will bring you to that student's profile page and right to their data overview screen. Here you'll see the data cards created for this student and their data that Vizzle has filtered based on goal and objective tags. Those are the custom tags you create when assigning lessons. Or by curriculum units, those are the auto tags created when assigning from courses or curriculum. If you'd like to learn more about how these data cards are created by Vizzle, we recommend viewing our video on assigning lessons. You can use our in-app chat and request a member of our support team to share a link with you for that video. On each data card, you'll see the tag name in blue at the top, the number of lessons that student has assigned to them with that tag, up to five of the most recent data points and the mastery criteria. By default, the mastery criteria is set for three consecutive lessons at 80%, but I'll show you in a minute how you can change that. When a student does hit mastery criteria, VISA will send an email notification to you. You can turn those off in teacher settings under the welcome dropdown. Then at the bottom of the data card, you'll see the current status. It may provide a mastered on date, last played on date, or no lessons played. You can then click on a data card to open the data detail screen. At the top of the screen, you can click the orange edit pencil button to edit the tag name, or the edit button next to mastery criteria to change that as needed. This graph will display up to 20 of the most recent data points. Then below the graph, you'll see the lessons assigned to the student with that tag and an average percentage correct for each individual lesson. You may also click on a lesson bar to open the details screen. Also, any standards the lessons align with are at the bottom. Those will vary depending on the state your account is associated with. Back up at the top of the screen on the right, you have the option to print this report and archive the tag and all the lessons associated with that tag. Archiving the lessons will remove them from the student's active lesson list and they will no longer see them when they log into Vizzle with their own username and password. Click Close in the top right corner to close out the data details screen. The final data option Vizzel provides is our detailed report. From a student's data overview screen, click the orange detailed report arrow. You are provided with several report filter options. The start and end dates, which by default are set for the last three months. Start and end times, which are set for full day by default. Since this report will include partial lesson completion data, you can choose to select only completed lessons. Subject area, logged in user, as well as goals and objectives, which are the tags we saw on the previous data page. After selecting your report criteria, click Submit. Fizzle provides a summary along with individual lesson play data details below. Here you can also type in a note for any data point. This data can also be exported as a CSV or as a PDF. 
We hope you find Vizzle's automatic data collection and filtering to be a benefit, saving you time that can be spent focused on your students. Happy Vizzling.